Hello everyone, my name is Odinson and this is episode one of a brand new uh, Total Warhammer, Warhammer 3 uh, campaign. We're playing on Immortal Empires with the um, SFO X overhaul mod. Uh, I just get music started up there, that's good. Okay, um, I've not played a campaign with this character before, so we're going to be learning together. So let's go. I did have a brief look at some of the units uh, beforehand. I have a rough idea of what sort of army structure I'm going to be going for, but um, we will see as we go along. Okay. And of course, it's going to take a little minute for um, the campaign to load in for the first episode, more so than normal. So um, what we will be doing this episode is taking a look at the units and the buildings and um, our starting position. We'll probably get into a easy fight, which you always do in the sort of like first instance, almost always with almost all characters. Once we've got that out of the way, we're going to look at um, what we can do with regards to army setup and base setups and how this whole system works. So let's see what they've got to say, if anything. I'm sure he does. Okay, so orcs. We need to harvest skulls. A fancy faction will send to the skull throne in return for powerful temporary effects. Okay. We we'll progress through bloodletting levels and accumulate births, so we need to fight often. Raise conquered settlements to summon temporary demonic armies, spread destruction in partially owned provinces for a chance to occupy them automatically. Ensure the spread of corn corruption to aid his participation in the great game. And unlock unholy manifestations. Monarch spells that can briefly learn more about corn here. Okay, so we've got a hero here, so we're obviously just going to um, set him into there. So, what have we got here? We've got two Chaos Warriors, three Blood Letters, which are a bit squishier, and then some Chaos Warhounds, which are really squishy. We've got the Blood Reaper here. The standard hero, and then we've got Scarbrand himself, who's a bit of a badass. <clears throat> so we already own Death Gorge, which is good to know. What is this? Favor? Okay. They don't like us, but we're at war with these guys. Can't see anybody else we're at war with right now. No, nope, the orcs don't mind. They're not gonna like us for doing this, but um we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, decisive victory, but uh, we're at bloodletting three to five battle victories. Okay, but we're going to fight it anyway, as we always do on episode one, just to get a feel. Now, I do know that Scarbrand himself is a bit of a badass. <clears throat> and looking at his weapon strength and armor and stuff, he's going to be good. We're going to take it slow on this first episode. Now, I do know that Corn don't really have too many um, missile uh, troops, like archers or anything. All right, so what have they got here exactly? So we've got axe infantry, shock cavalry, and then we've got the um, arrow boys there. There's the boars, two sets of boars. Uh, he's got Rage Embodied. That puts Rampage. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't. He's got the Horn of Corn. Melee Attack plus 25. Okay, good to know. Alright, so let's um get these boys sorted out. to uh, pull up everything back a minute. 
think we're going to set up over this side. We're probably going to put our um, squishy boys on the front. See, their weapon stroke is 45. And their weapon stroke is the same, but they've got shields. So I'm going to actually set them up on front. And we're going to sit in big boys here. Our vanguard deployment of these guys can go over here. Let's see what we can do with them in a bit. Alright, let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, I got that. So he's got this, which is the raging body, and then we've got the horn of corn when we need it. All right, well, let's move up. Okay, we're good. Scarbrand himself looks pretty. Affects all enemies in range. Melee defense minus 10. Okay, that's handy to know. Does this guy actually do anything? I mean, he's got good leadership. He's got good weapon strength as well. Okay, so these guys aren't going to come and... They're just not going to take the bait, basically. So we're going to... send all three of them into the front there go to send our wolves over here and we're gonna bring these guys right up front and center too okay let's see what happens Those are definitely slower, so we're going to hold. Let's just get, get him right in there. Go on. Go on, son. Do all you can. And then we're going to um, hit his... There. Back, back, you guys can come in. Okay, you guys can come around to here. can get into them yep they're running straight towards it now they've realized what's going on and BAM straight through them okay out 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 okay boys you boys get in there Oh boys, uh, let's get a charge in on these guys again. <clears throat> All right, they be running, so we're gonna come in here. Nice little charge, get back out. Right, 
then you can charge into them again. These guys, preferably, go on, get in there. Nice. Out. Alright, we're going to come around here. Alright, we've had a unit run. Okay, you boys need to come in and take him out. Get in there. They're running, they're running, so you can go take them out. Take out their uh, lord. <clears throat> Alright, and we're good. The enemy lord is dead. We want to kill as many of them as possible. Let them get wiped out. Alright, there's many more of them. Go get them. Come on, boys. Run! At least get a few of them. Yeah. a nice bloody mess in there. <clears throat> All right, they be gone. Good, it's a good start. <clears throat> Twenty losses to their five hundred and twenty-five. I'll take that. That's good. That's a good start. Okay, so what do we do? We take the skulls, proof of steel, weapon strength, army replenished, yeah. Offer us tribute for the money. Let's take the skulls. All right, so what do we need here? Gorgazan. Where's that one? All the way over there? And that one. You fill out the... Uh... Okay, it's good to know. So what does this give me? This gives me Marauder Horseman with the throwing axes. Okay, good. Chaos Warriors, that's good. All I've got here is Marauders. So we're gonna do that. I could also do Chaos Furies. Blood Letters, now gives us the Exalted. Hold on a sec. And then we get Chaos Warriors. The uh, Albertson. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Uh, the Skull Throne. Those cost 3,000 cooldown to 10% experience, 10% campaign movement plus 25% after raising. Income from post battle loot plus 25. Control plus 5. Army ability summon from Blood Hosts plus 2 on creation. Alright, technology. 
Uh, so let's have a look here. What is this? 50 skulls per turn. Okay. Blood feasting. Grants the blood feasters banner. Upkeep minus 5% for blood hosts. Drink from flesh. Regeneration spell. That's a passive ability. Heal per second, 0.2%. Okay, raiding, income, corn corruption, spell resistance, rage within. I kind of like this regeneration, to be honest. Hold on a sec. That's 500 skulls. That's okay. Indeed. Okay, we can recruit in that stance, but we can recruit in this stance. <clears throat> These guys are like flying melee infantry. I mean, I guess they're good at coming at the like round from behind, so we might just do a couple of them. But they've got a shield. Emily Tech is 34, weapon strike 40, 34, 30, 25. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go for these first. Yeah, now what's this? Unholy manifestation, eternal war. Okay. Wounds glare. Not garrisoned. Okay. Diplomacy, objectives. Alright, let's just have a look at what we can actually build here. Building browser. Alright. <clears throat> so I know that I'm going to want these. So skull cannons and the blood shrine of corn. That's a magic chariot. And that's the Chaos Chariots, but especially these, because this is going to be my um, siege weapon, basically. Projectile explosion, 4 meters. Their missile stroke is 175. They're not the best in the world, but Blood Reaper, they're the Minotaurs. Monstrous Infantry, Axe Infantry. And that's the Chosen. They're the Chaos Knights, okay. We've seen this already. Um, Bloodhounds, Flesh Hounds, Forsaken. Glass Cannon, okay. That's a Glass Cannon too. Robin's Capital. All right, good. So we've seen what we're going to be doing for the moment, I think. And we're going to go to the next turn. Oh, it's good to see all 272 factions well, that are remaining currently. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple fun overhaul. Yeah. What SFO does is generally just make things much harder. Yeah, yeah. Blood for the blood god. Gotcha. Okay, so we're getting this bloodletting. Our upkeep is dropping. But now we want to take this. Harbinger of the. Okay, we found a beastman. <clears throat> is this open field? Or is this like... Yeah, it's open field. We got two arrow boys, but... Gonna try and fight a bit more here. <coughs> In this particular playthrough, just because I haven't played them and I want to know what it's actually all about.
decent melee combatant, war pay, whatever that does. Poor accuracy. Good to know. Why are they all the way over there? Okay, um, you can you can actually start way over here. All right, uh, so no, you boys, uh, one, and then you boys, you guys at the front line. You are gonna no, you are gonna sit kind of here. And we're gonna have these guys. As our reserves and then these guys are obviously a front line all of their own anyway by the looks of things but we're gonna build up their um, resilience because Scarbrand's already taken a beast in by the looks of it okay and he could go to four all right I think we can start the so you boys can come up to hit here you boys can come up to here for now you two can sit there <clears throat> these boys are fast boys Garbrand's pretty damn fast as well mind gonna have to um pull him back and then push him forward again Let's see what you guys want to do, huh? Okay, they're rotating round. The range is obviously awful. There we go, they're in range now. Let's get going. Gonna bring up our boys to here. You two can come up to there. I'm gonna send these boys in over here. Actually, let's um, get up there first. All right, here we go then. We're going to uh, pop that. Now you can come in and help them. Wow, they are running already. Yeah, they are um, out of control. All right, get in there, boys. Wow, they just booked immediately. Get in there. Go on, Scarbrand. Here come the wolves. Go on. Tacked in the flank. Okay. Seems to be going fairly well. Those boys are done. Get back into them. Wolf rats can take another pop at that. Oof. Go on, Scarbrand. He's just a beast. Oh, Jesus. You guys don't mess around, mind. And that is that. Oh no, not quite. Now that is that. I'm pretty sure they're all retreating, right? We didn't even have to use these boys. 
Oh, here we go. Those boys that haven't retreated yet. Not for long. All right, now we're done. Good. Nice, short, easy battle. Four minutes. <coughs> A few more losses that time. Mainly to these Marauders, but that's okay. They had the most kills, apart from... Well, yeah. That unit there particularly had the most kills. Starbrand doing as much as a whole unit of infantry. And it seems legit. Ranger standard. Perfect. Extra speed. Summon to blood host. This army cannot recruit or exchange unit with other armies and will take damage over time, but its survival can be extended by fighting battles. Useful. Raise the settlement and harvest the skulls that are fallen. Yep, we're going to do that. And then we're going to... Oh. We'll go back and um, take it. Okay. Unassigned skill points. Scarbrand. Maim, kill, destroy, slaughter. Alright. Drinker of blood. That's a uh, passive regeneration too. Blood fees, casualty, punishment. Okay, that's our army bonuses. Kill for corn. Good. All right, uh, Bellows of Magic Missile. All right. Fueled by Rage. Okay. All right, he's a badass, so we're gonna go Rune Marcher. And then this dude. I think we want to do brutal charge, weapon strength and charge bonus, and then we're going to go through making him a badass. Okay. That's good. Not sure what you think you're gonna do. All right, well, unholy manifestations. Yeah, we can still do that if we wanted to. Summons a small hostile army that will attack the target army immediately. Cool. Ten thousand skulls. Holy crap. Alright. That's Numas, Tomb Kings. Alright. Cool. Well that brings us to the end of the first episode of this playthrough with Scarbrand. Um we're gonna see where it goes, but thank you all very much for watching and until next time, as always, please do. Hey.